What's going on with y'all cats, man? Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Check out my video last night. Um, we talked about the Dalvin Cook situation. Him him and the Jets parting ways. And then, of course, we talked about um, some overreaction football. Showed you guys... Um, just showed you guys some different things. Um, showing you the comparison of why Lamar was balling out. Showing you the defensive schemes, which are very poorish now. Like, guys don't communicate. Guys don't... Um, guys don't even try to... Excuse me. Guys don't even try to, you know, let you know, yo. Like, yo, man, I'm, I'm, I'm right here, you know. We're going to switch this. We're going to switch this. They don't play the China coverage no more, which is a guy going up and out than a guy going on a, um, either um, a go route or into the post. All of it is just terrible. Now, a report has come out. I don't know if it's a breaking news report and stuff. You know. You know, but the Philadelphia Inquirer basically is saying that A.J. Brown has caused a division in the locker room. Um, you have one side following him, and he's supposed to be a leader. That's not good. They're basically um, basically saying his frustration is pouring into the team. Um, that's not the reason. Um, you're not going to do that. Um, your guys are not going to make A.J. Brown the scapegoat. A.J. Brown, yes, you've seen him on the sideline upset. A.J. Brown is, you know, he's very volatile. Um, he wants the ball in a lot of situations. Um, basically, they're saying he's being force-fed a lot. Donovan McNabb made these claims, but yet people diss Donovan McNabb. Um... Donovan McNabb said, it's A.J. Brown. I dealt with a receiver the same way. It's about me, 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 and not the team. <laughs> you know, and, you know, Donovan McNabb said this same report. And he said this by just looking at it because, you know, McNabb has people in the building still. So he's basically saying A.J. Brown's the problem because they're force feeding him way too much. But at the same time, people tried to put up numbers where it was like, oh, all like A.J. Brown, Swift, and Devontae Smith. What is McNabb talking about all this? It's not about the numbers, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You guys are so infatuated with numbers. It's not about the numbers. So what Smith and Swift are getting? Swift, to me, is the one who ain't getting no touches. They're force feeding the ball to these damn receivers and not running the ball. The person who should be upset is DeAndre Swift. Swift should go in the locker room and cuss all you bastards out and tell y'all to give me the goddamn ball. That's what I would do. You got to run the ball. At the end of the day, you could do all this passing, whatever. You need to run the ball. Okay, you have got to run the damn ball. And I don't care. And this is the issue that I had with Terrell Owens back in the day. Terrell Owens wanted the ball all the goddamn time. And it's like, T.O. <laughs> Everybody is going to get the ball. You're going to get the ball. But would you rather win or have a great stat line? That's our problem. We're too... We're too up for these stats. And I blame management. I blame the media. I blame the owners. I blame the people who are um, the general managers and all of these guys because they've made it a numbers league. A.J. Brown probably has to hit certain perks to get even more money. And I don't blame him. But at the same time, 
you're not going to single him out. Just like they tried to single um, Terrell Owens out. Terrell Owens wasn't the problem. The problem was Andy Reid not having control of his damn team. And then you got people like Chance and other people trying to defend saying, well, Andy Reid didn't have the problem. If Andy Reid didn't have the problem, then Andy Reid should have nipped it in the bud. Andy Reid's not that type of guy. Terrell Owens has an attitude problem. He thinks he knows it all. That's his problem. He says some dumb shit about Florida State. Well, I guess they got it right. No, you stupid idiot. That's why your dumb ass ain't win a ring. Because your dumb ass don't look at the whole picture, T.O. We lost the game because half our team sat out, dumb ass. <laughs> You're tired of T.O., dog. Overrated. Overrated receiver. And I stick by it. Oh. Overrated. Now, A.J. Brown, in my opinion, is the best receiver in the game. I, I'll stick by it. Um, Tyreek Hill is a football player. He's not a he's not a great receiver, dog. He doesn't run the route tree exceptionally well. And Steve Smith has said this, but everybody wanted to kill Steve Smith. It's the facts. Like, if Tyreek Hill loses his athleticism, is he going to be effective still? I don't think so. But they're putting this report out to try to single A.J. Brown. It's not just A.J. Brown. Even when T.O. was doing his antics back then, it wasn't T.O. It wasn't just T.O. It was McNabb. It was um Andy Reid. It was management. Management not wanting to pay T.O. They should have just paid him. They didn't want to pay him. So, you know. And then you had these two guys going back and forth. It was an ego thing. And T.O. basically drums it up to jealousy. No, McNabb wasn't jealous of your bitch ass. <laughs> McNabb was upset <laughs> because he was tired of you always complaining about getting the goddamn ball. He didn't give a damn. He knew, Donovan knew Philly didn't love him. He knew that. He didn't care. Did he want that love that T.O. got? Absolutely. But Donovan understands. He he was booed his draft day. <laughs> McNabb already knows, like, yeah, they, they don't like me. You know, so everything McNabb does, everybody wanted to attack him. And you notice this is receivers that want to attack him. But did any of them did any of them bastards win or even come close to winning? No. Because they were me, me, me guys. Look at me, me, me. Get me the ball. <laughs> it's crazy. So it's like AJ Brown is in the same ropes. Does he have something to do with the locker room? Absolutely. I believe A.J. Brown is splitting the team apart, but you're not going to make him the scapegoat. Nick Sirianni needs to run the goddamn ball more. I don't care about A.J. Brown's feelings. Run the damn ball. That's you guys' problem. Y'all be wanting to coddle these soft-ass players. Run the ball. Don't fall into that trope Andy Reid fell into when T.O. came back for the Super Bowl, which I thought was the biggest mistake ever. He should have sat out because the offense was moving more fluently without him because Brian Westbrook was going off. That's the guy who needed to get the ball. Now, I'm going to put the phone down because um I got to eat my breakfast, you know. But, um Yeah. The problem is Nick Sirianni and his sorry-ass offense. His offense his offense is playing like straight trash, and he's not taking any accountability. That's the problem. No accountability. None at all.
He wants to make everybody happy. You can't do it. Listen. Run the damn ball. If AJ Brown has a problem, put a bib in his mouth and keep moving. Okay? Devontae upset, let him be upset. Keep moving. Devontae been complaining too. He's been frustrated. frustrated you know so it's understandable but it's not just AJ Brown see the Philadelphia choir trying to make him the scapegoat no you're not going to do that tried that with T.O. I didn't like what y'all did there. And I'm not a T.O. fan, but no. Y'all are losing because of Sirianni's play calling. He's implementing his playbook to the offensive coordinator. Scrub Zero said it. Shout out to Scrub Zero. He the one who broke this to us on all day football. He said that the offensive coordinator left. So what happened is this. Sirianni is running his offense. And Brian Johnson really doesn't have that many that much control over calling the plays. And then these idiots made Matt Patricia the defensive coordinator. The defense then got worse. And I told you guys, they keep recycling these bum-ass white coaches. Go get, If you're going to be racist, get the good white coaches, not these bums. Okay? Get the good ones. Not the bums. Right? Now, the person who should be mad is, like I said, Swift. Swift. That's what should have happened. DeAndre Swift should be upset. Gainwell and Swift should be having at least 20 carries in between both of them. They should have a total of 40 carries. Seriously. Sirianni out here got Jalen Hurts being the power back, the quarterback. You're going to get Jalen Hurts, man. He almost got, he did get hurt and came back in the game. The Niners game. He got hurt in because Sirianni was calling these garbage plays. See, they don't want to put the blame on the white guy. They're like, no, Sirianni's our white guy. I don't care. He's the problem. Just like in Philly, I told everybody, Andy Reid is the problem. Nobody wanted to believe me. They wanted to blame T.O. I'm like, yeah, T.O. Is a, is, a, is a part of the problem, but hey, he wants to win. you have teammates of his who were saying that he was drinking and partying the night before Donovan McNabb was doing it like the night before 
Donna, uh, Andy Reid should have cut those players. Terrell Owens should have shut up about it. But T.O. is always passing off blame to everybody else. He never can be accountable. He always has the victim role. I didn't do nothing wrong. That victim shit don't work with black people. But the issue is Sirianni. He's the biggest issue. It's not A.J. Brown. It's not Devontae. Devontae Smith is just as much of a problem as A.J. Brown. They both complaining. So it's not just A.J. Brown. <laughs> Brown is upset with this damn play calling. There's no fluidity. Guys aren't getting the ball where they want to get it at. But the person who should be mad is DeAndre Swift and Gainwell. They should be touching the ball 20 apiece between one another. But, nope. Sirianni's like, no, can't do that. Gotta have Jalen Hurts do it all. Stupid. Football is a team sport. If everybody's not on the same page, you're going to lose. And that's what's happening to the Eagles. That's what's happening to the Eagles. They're letting adversity hurt them. That's why I said Donovan McNabb should have played with um, Randy Moss. Y'all get mad at me when I say T.O.'s a top 15, maybe top 20 receiver. He is. And I tell Chance that all the time. He is, dog. He overrated. <laughs> Dude done had the most drops damn near every damn season, bro. And that, that's a top receiver to you? Okay. That's why I know you would not be coaching on my team. <laughs> When T.O. came to Dallas, I told everybody, Jerry screwed it up. Not because of T.O., because T.O. and Parcells ain't going to get along. Parcells is a do-it-my-way-or-the-highway guy. He'll ease up on you if you get the job done. He don't respect T.O. because he knows about T.O.'s answer. See, you guys don't understand. These coaches and players know about what goes on in other locker rooms. They talk. So everybody trying to make T.O. to be this victim and shit. No. He's not a victim. The thing is, is that Terrell Owens has a problem with accepting lesser roles at times. A.J. Brown, I don't believe is having that problem. A.J. Brown is literally upset about the play calling because he thinks it's repetitive and and. and simple minded but why is he being singled out why was Terrell Owens being singled out y'all singled them out y'all singled them out because they're black men with strong personality Y'all not going to say nothing about Devontae Smith because he's the quiet guy, but Devontae Smith is just as loud. I've been hearing Devontae Smith is, is, is just as loud and vocal. Shit. 
So I don't want to hear that shit. But no. The problem is Nick Sirianni, not A.J. Brown. Like I said on the old Eagles, the problem is not Terrell Owens. It's Andy bleeping Reed and his bullshit play calling and not utilizing the run. And that's why the Eagles kept losing. Donovan McNabb got them the five NFC championships in the Super Bowl. This guy can't get in the Hall of Fame. He was a game changer. But y'all going to praise Eli Manning, who had all the weapons in the world and one of the top defensive lines in history. And then you got um, Troy Aikman, whose team was loaded. But you're going to have him in over McNabb? Man, stop playing. Look, it, I'm done. <laughs> but this this is the truth. Sirianni's the problem. They're trying to make A.J. Brown the scapegoat like Philly tried to do that with Terrell Owens. Okay. What the hell is y'all doing, man? They always doing some dumb shit in the morning. But yeah. But yeah. That's the meat and potatoes of the situation. That's what happened. Um, you guys can believe me or not, but they're trying to make him the scapegoat. You can't do what you used to do back in the day because everybody's going to call that bullshit out. See, back in the day, you could make somebody the scapegoat. You know? So, hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about it. I'm about to hear it. Excuse me, man. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm about to head into here. You know, great talking with you guys. I'm out. Deezy.